Well, femme is truly an exploration of the partnership between the feminine and the masculine. So even though it's called femme, women healing the world, it's really about us as a humanity together being, making and healing each other. And it's about rebalancing the feminine and the masculine because what I observe is that for the last 3,000 years we've been a little bit the victim of this ultra patriarchal macho dominant system uh, who basically push women away from all the realm of uh, power and control and us guys took over even with the notion that God is a dude in the clouds. Um, so I think that's what the root of really the misery, the poverty and, and war is. It's that, that unbalance between the feminine and the masculine and especially especially within men because we are raised us men to be this conqueror, this uh, dominative force, this brute, uh, sometimes this killer in certain countries. You know, you, you kids are given a weapon at age four and told go shoot the neighbor for no sane reason, obviously. So I think all of that has to change and we have to rebalance our feminine and masculine energy and also really tell men that they are not made to be killers. Men are made to be lovers. That's, we are simple creatures. That's all we are made for. So that's what the movie is addressing and what it's talking about. Well, basically, I started uh, eight years ago to do a series of what I call humanitarian documentaries, documentaries for conscious humanity. And uh, the first one was actually an exploration of the notion of oneness, God, energies, uh, around the world with Deepak Chopra, the Dalai Lama, Desmond Tutu. But when I did that, I went also and met a lot of women from India to Japan to South Africa to Mexico. And when I met all these women, they really, their, their, their response to my question were really deep and, and, and meaningful compared to the response of the guys who were a little bit repetitive and redundant and, and cliche and easy. So I thought, wow, I mean, really, women are a great source of information and us, we are not paying attention enough, even in the medias. You know, the medias always focus on, on the Deepak Chopra, on the Dalai Lama, on the Demons Tutu, but not the female who are equally big, like uh, the Nobel Peace Prize winners that we have in our movie, Shirin Ebadi or Mary McGuire from uh, Ireland, but uh, also Sharon Stone is in my movie and she's my partner. So I, I decided that it was interesting, it would be interesting challenge for a guy, a typical macho idiot like I am, to do a feminist movie, but more than that, a pro-humanity movie. So even so, for the first 15, 20 minutes, we feel like it's gonna be a bit male bashing and, and putting us down. Very quickly, you realize, oh, no, 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 it's not about that. It's about really how do we make sense together and how we save each other. Uh, so that's that was the inspiration. And, and obviously, as a guy, I mean, I, I owe women everything. I was born by a woman, I raised by many women, I've been married three times. Uh, you know, if I'm lucky, I will die in the arm of a beautiful woman, my wife, hopefully. So I think we guys owe so much to women, it's about time we celebrate them and tell them to lead us out of the darkness, out of the poverty, out of the misery, out of the war. You know, be the healer. The response has been phenomenal. I mean, uh, we've been in 15 or 20 film festivals around the world. Uh, the movie now is out on the internet worldwide. Anybody can stream it for five bucks on our site, femthemovie.com. Uh, it's been amazing, you know, everybody has embraced it. Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy because not only women are watching it and loving it, but men come and thank me. And uh, the first time it happened at the film festival, I think it was in Aruba or Bermuda, I forgot. And, and this guy arrived and he was almost in tears and he said, oh my God, oh my God, thank you. And I'm like, why? He said, now I get it. I, I understand what's wrong with me and, and I understand a bit more women and what they are expecting of us men. So it's really a movie that men should watch. And, and because I know it's, it's really a gift for them to understand themselves better and understand the other gender better.